What is your all-time favorite cartoon, and why? My all-time favorite cartoon is Avatar The Last Airbender, because of its rich storyline, character development, and themes of friendship and self-discovery. What is your all-time favorite cartoon, and why? My all-time favorite cartoon is Avatar The Last Airbender, because of its rich storyline, character development, and themes of friendship and self-discovery. Are there specific episodes of your favorite cartoon that you find particularly memorable or impactful? The Tales of Ba Sing Se episode in Avatar The Last Airbender is particularly memorable each short story within it is emotionally impactful. Are there specific episodes of your favorite cartoon that you find particularly memorable or impactful? The Tales of Ba Sing Se episode in Avatar The Last Airbender is particularly memorable each short story within it is emotionally impactful. How did you discover your favorite cartoon? And what drew you to it initially? I discovered Adventure Time through recommendations and its unique blend of humor, adventure, and underlying complexity drew me in. How did you discover your favorite cartoon and what drew you to it initially? I discovered Adventure Time through recommendations and its unique blend of humor, adventure, and underlying complexity drew me in. Do you have a favorite character from your favorite cartoon, and why do you resonate with them? Aang from Avatar The Last Airbender is my favorite character his journey to balance duty and personal growth resonates with me. Do you have a favorite character from your favorite cartoon? And why do you resonate with them? Aang from Avatar The Last Airbender is my favorite character his journey to balance duty and personal growth resonates with me. Are there any life lessons or values from your favorite cartoon that you've incorporated into your own life? SpongeBob SquarePants taught me about optimism and resilience, reminding me to find joy in life's simple pleasures. Are there any life lessons or values from your favorite cartoon that you've incorporated into your own life? SpongeBob SquarePants taught me about optimism and resilience, reminding me to find joy in life's simple pleasures. How do you feel when rewatching episodes of your favorite cartoon, and does it bring back any nostalgic feelings? Rewatching The Simpsons brings back nostalgic feelings it's like revisiting my childhood with the familiar humor and characters how do you feel when re-watching episodes of your favorite cartoon and does it bring back any nostalgic feelings re-watching the simpsons brings back nostalgic feelings it's like revisiting my childhood with the familiar humor and characters is there a specific genre of cartoons you're drawn to, or do you enjoy a variety of styles and themes? I enjoy a variety, but I'm particularly drawn to animated fantasy series like The Dragon Prince, for their imaginative worlds. Is there a specific genre of cartoons you're drawn to, or do you enjoy a variety of styles and themes? I enjoy a variety, but I'm particularly drawn to animated fantasy series like The Dragon Prince, 
for their imaginative worlds. Do you ever share your favorite cartoon with friends or family? And what are their reactions? I often share Rick and Morty with friends, and their reactions range from laughter to discussions about the show's philosophical themes. Do you ever share your favorite cartoon with friends or family, and what are their reactions? I often share Rick and Morty with friends, and their reactions range from laughter to discussions about the show's philosophical themes. How do you feel about the animation style of your favorite cartoon, and does it play a role in your enjoyment? The unique art style of Gravity Falls enhances my enjoyment. It complements the mysterious and quirky atmosphere of the show. How do you feel about the animation style of your favorite cartoon, and does it play a role in your enjoyment? The unique art style of Gravity Falls enhances my enjoyment. It complements the mysterious and quirky atmosphere of the show. Have you ever attended a convention or event related to your favorite cartoon? And what was the experience like? Attending a Steven Universe panel at a convention was an amazing experience. Connecting with fellow fans and the creators was unforgettable. Have you ever attended a convention or event related to your favorite cartoon? And what was the experience like? Attending a Steven Universe panel at a convention was an amazing experience. Connecting with fellow fans and the creators was unforgettable. Are there any cartoon crossovers you wish could happen between your favorite shows? A crossover between The Powerpuff Girls and Dexter's Laboratory would be a childhood dream come true. Are there any cartoon crossovers you wish could happen between your favorite shows? A crossover between The Powerpuff Girls and Dexter's Laboratory would be a childhood dream come true. How has your favorite cartoon influenced your sense of humor, if at all? Futurama has influenced my sense of humor with its clever satire and wit, making me appreciate smart and sarcastic comedy. How has your favorite cartoon influenced your sense of humor, if at all? Futurama has influenced my sense of humor with its clever satire and wit making me appreciate smart and sarcastic comedy. Is there a specific era of cartoons that holds a special place in your heart, like classic cartoons or modern animated series? Classic Looney Tunes cartoons hold a special place in my heart. Their timeless humor never fails to bring a smile to my face. Is there a specific era of cartoons that holds a special place in your heart, like classic cartoons or modern animated series? Classic Looney Tunes cartoons hold a special place in my heart. Their timeless humor never fails to bring a smile to my face. Do you have any favorite quotes or catchphrases from your favorite cartoon that you often use in daily life? Cowabunga! From the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is a fun catchphrase that I occasionally use for a playful exclamation. Do you have any favorite quotes or catchphrases from your favorite cartoon that you often use in daily life? Cowabunga! From the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is a fun catchphrase that I occasionally use for a playful exclamation. 
How do you feel about the evolution of animation and storytelling in cartoons over the years? I appreciate the evolution, the depth and complexity of storytelling in cartoons today. Like, Steven Universe, are truly remarkable. How do you feel about the evolution of animation and storytelling in cartoons over the years? I appreciate the evolution, the depth and complexity of storytelling in cartoons today. Like, Steven Universe, are truly remarkable. Are there any cartoons you enjoyed as a child that you still find entertaining today? Tom and Jerry is a classic that I still find entertaining. The slapstick humor is timeless and brings back fond memories. Are there any cartoons you enjoyed as a child that you still find entertaining today? Tom and Jerry, as a classic that I still find entertaining the slapstick humor as timeless and brings back fond memories. Have you ever dressed up as a character from your favorite cartoon for Halloween or a cosplay event? Yes, I dressed up as Finn from Adventure Time. For Halloween it was a blast embodying the adventurous spirit of the character. Have you ever dressed up as a character from your favorite cartoon for Halloween or a cosplay event? Yes. I dressed up as Finn from Adventure Time. For Halloween it was a blast embodying the adventurous spirit of the character. How do you feel about the representation of diverse characters in cartoons? And do you think it's important? The representation of diverse characters in cartoons is crucial. It reflects the real world and helps create inclusive and relatable storytelling. How do you feel about the representation of diverse characters in cartoons? And do you think it's important? The representation of diverse characters in cartoons is crucial. It reflects the real world and helps create inclusive and relatable storytelling. Are there any cartoons you watch specifically for their artistic or animation style? I watch Samurai Jack. For its unique and visually stunning animation style the artistic elements add depth to the storytelling. Are there any cartoons you watch specifically for their artistic or animation style? I watch, Samurai Jack. For its unique and visually stunning animation style the artistic elements add depth to the storytelling. How do you introduce your favorite cartoon to someone who has never seen it before? I highlight the unique aspects, such as the humor, character development, and overarching themes, to pique their interest. How do you introduce your favorite cartoon to someone who has never seen it before? I highlight the unique aspects such as the humor, character development, and overarching themes, to pique their interest. Are there any cartoons that you initially didn't enjoy but grew to love over time? I didn't appreciate Bob's Burgers at first, but over time, I grew to love its quirky characters and witty humor. Are there any cartoons that you initially didn't enjoy but grew to love over time? I didn't appreciate Bob's Burgers at first, but over time, I grew to love its quirky characters and witty humor. How do you feel about the trend of reviving classic cartoons with modern adaptations or reboots? 
I appreciate the trend when it's done with respect for the original, like DuckTales. It can bring beloved characters to a new generation. How do you feel about the trend of reviving classic cartoons with modern adaptations or reboots? I appreciate the trend when it's done with respect for the original. Like, DuckTales. It can bring beloved characters to a new generation. Are there any cartoons that you find particularly relaxing or comforting to watch? Arthur is a comforting cartoon that brings back nostalgic feelings, and its wholesome messages still resonate with me. Are there any cartoons that you find particularly relaxing or comforting to watch? Arthur, is a comforting cartoon that brings back nostalgic feelings, and its wholesome messages still resonate with me. How do you handle spoilers for your favorite cartoon, and does it impact your enjoyment? I avoid spoilers at all costs experiencing the plot twists and surprises firsthand enhances my enjoyment of the storyline. How do you handle spoilers for your favorite cartoon, and does it impact your enjoyment? I avoid spoilers at all costs experiencing the plot twists and surprises firsthand enhances my enjoyment of the storyline. Do you ever analyze or discuss the deeper themes and messages within your favorite cartoon with others? Yes. I enjoy discussing the philosophical themes in Bojack Horseman. With friends it adds another layer of appreciation for the show. Do you ever analyze or discuss the deeper themes and messages within your favorite cartoon with others? Yes. I enjoy discussing the philosophical themes in Bojack Horseman. With friends it adds another layer of appreciation for the show. Are there any cartoons that you consider guilty pleasures ones you enjoy even though they might not be critically acclaimed? Scooby-Doo is a guilty pleasure the mysteries and the iconic, meddling kids formula never fail to entertain. Are there any cartoons that you consider guilty pleasures ones you enjoy even though they might not be critically acclaimed? Scooby-Doo is a guilty pleasure the mysteries and the iconic, meddling kids formula never fail to entertain. How do you feel about the growing popularity of adult-oriented animated series? And do you have any favorites? I appreciate the shift series like Archer and Big Mouth provide mature themes with the humor and animation style I enjoy. How do you feel about the growing popularity of adult-oriented animated series, and do you have any favorites? I appreciate the shift series like Archer and Big Mouth provide mature themes with the humor and animation style I enjoy. Do you ever incorporate elements from your favorite cartoon into your daily life, like references or jokes? I often use The Simpsons references in daily conversations. The show's humor has become a part of my everyday language. Do you ever incorporate elements from your favorite cartoon into your daily life, like references or jokes? I often use The Simpsons references in daily conversations. The show's humor has become a part of my everyday language. Are there any cartoons you watch purely for the soundtrack or music featured in them? Steven Universe 
has an outstanding soundtrack the music adds emotional depth to the narrative and is enjoyable on its own. Are there any cartoons you watch purely for the soundtrack or music featured in them? Steven Universe has an outstanding soundtrack the music adds emotional depth to the narrative and is enjoyable on its own. How do you feel about animated movies that are based on or extend the stories of your favorite cartoons? I enjoy them when they stay true to the essence of the original animated movies can provide a deeper exploration of characters and themes. How do you feel about animated movies that are based on or extend the stories of your favorite cartoons? I enjoy them when they stay true to the essence of the original animated movies can provide a deeper exploration of characters and themes. Are there any cartoons that you find emotionally resonant, making you laugh and cry in the same episode? Bojack Horseman. As emotionally resonant its blend of humor and profound themes can evoke both laughter and introspection. Are there any cartoons that you find emotionally resonant, making you laugh and cry in the same episode? Bojack Horseman, as emotionally resonant its blend of humor and profound themes can evoke both laughter and introspection. How do you feel about the impact of technology on the animation industry and the quality of cartoons produced? Technology has allowed for incredible advancements in animation the quality and visual appeal of modern cartoons showcase this positive impact. How do you feel about the impact of technology on the animation industry and the quality of cartoons produced? Technology has allowed for incredible advancements in animation the quality and visual appeal of modern cartoons showcase this positive impact. Are there any cartoons that you consider underrated or hidden gems that more people should watch? Over the Garden Wall is an underrated gem with its enchanting storytelling and atmospheric animation it deserves more recognition. Are there any cartoons that you consider underrated or hidden gems that more people should watch? Over the Garden Wall is an underrated gem with its enchanting storytelling and atmospheric animation it deserves more recognition. How do you react when your favorite cartoon releases new episodes or content? And do you binge watch or savor each one? I get excited and savor each episode one appreciate the anticipation and look forward to the storytelling journey with each new release. How do you react when your favorite cartoon releases new episodes or content? And do you binge watch or savor each one? I get excited and savor each episode one appreciate the anticipation and look forward to the storytelling journey with each new release. Are there any cartoons you've introduced to others that became their favorites as well? Introducing friends to Rick and Morty resulted in them becoming fans the show's unique humor resonated with their tastes are there any cartoons you've introduced to others that became their favorites as well introducing friends to rick and morty resulted in them becoming fans the show's unique humor resonated with their tastes how do you feel about the role of nostalgia in enjoying classic cartoons, and does it influence your preferences? 
Nostalgia plays a significant role it influences my preferences and creates a sense of comfort and fondness for classic cartoons. How do you feel about the role of nostalgia in enjoying classic cartoons, and does it influence your preferences? Nostalgia plays a significant role it influences my preferences and creates a sense of comfort and fondness for classic cartoons. Are there any cartoons you consider binge-worthy, and what makes them so addictive for you? The Legend of Korra is binge-worthy for its engaging plot twists, character dynamics, and the exploration of complex themes. Are there any cartoons you consider binge-worthy, and what makes them so addictive for you? The Legend of Korra is binge-worthy for its engaging plot twists, character dynamics, and the exploration of complex themes. How do you discover new cartoons to watch? And are there specific genres or themes you seek out? Recommendations from friends and online reviews help me discover new cartoons. I often seek out fantasy or science fiction themes. How do you discover new cartoons to watch? And are there specific genres or themes you seek out? Recommendations from friends and online reviews help me discover new cartoons. I often seek out fantasy or science fiction themes. How do you feel about the role of humor in cartoons? And do you prefer slapstick, satirical, or dry humor? I appreciate a variety of humor styles. The witty and satirical humor in South Park is a personal favorite. How do you feel about the role of humor in cartoons, and do you prefer slapstick, satirical, or dry humor? I appreciate a variety of humor styles. The witty and satirical humor in South Park is a personal favorite. Are there any cartoons that you watch to escape reality or find comfort during challenging times? Bob's Burgers is a comfort watch during challenging times. Its humor and the close-knit family dynamic provide a sense of warmth. Are there any cartoons that you watch to escape reality or find comfort during challenging times? Bob's Burgers is a comfort watch during challenging times. Its humor and the close-knit family dynamic provide a sense of warmth. How do you feel about cartoons that incorporate social or political commentary into their storylines? I appreciate it when done thoughtfully cartoons like The Boondocks and Rick and Morty add depth with their social commentary. How do you feel about cartoons that incorporate social or political commentary into their storylines? I appreciate it when done thoughtfully cartoons like The Boondocks and Rick and Morty add depth with their social commentary. Are there any cartoons that you enjoy watching with a specific group of friends, creating a shared bonding experience? Watching The Venture Bros with a group of friends has become a tradition, creating shared jokes and bonding moments. Are there any cartoons that you enjoy watching with a specific group of friends, creating a shared bonding experience? Watching The Venture Bros with a group of friends has become a tradition, creating shared jokes and bonding moments. 
How do you feel about the trend of cartoons addressing mental health and emotional well-being in their narratives? It's a positive trend cartoons like Steven Universe and BoJack Horseman contribute to destigmatizing mental health discussions. How do you feel about the trend of cartoons addressing mental health and emotional well-being in their narratives? It's a positive trend cartoons like Steven Universe and BoJack Horseman contribute to destigmatizing mental health discussions. Are there any cartoons that you consider a guilty pleasure because they are purely entertaining without deeper themes? Teen Titans Go! is a guilty pleasure its light-hearted and humorous approach makes it purely entertaining. Are there any cartoons that you consider a guilty pleasure because they are purely entertaining without deeper themes? Teen Titans Go! is a guilty pleasure its light-hearted and humorous approach makes it purely entertaining. How do you feel about animated shorts or web series? And do you have any favorites? Animated shorts like The Animation Show of Shows showcase incredible creativity and are a refreshing change of pace. How do you feel about animated shorts or web series, and do you have any favorites? Animated shorts like The Animation Show of Shows showcase incredible creativity and are a refreshing change of pace. Are there any cartoons you enjoyed as a child that you've revisited as an adult, gaining new perspectives? Revisiting Rugrats, as an adult gave me a new appreciation for the clever humor and the portrayal of childhood curiosity. Are there any cartoons you enjoyed as a child that you've revisited as an adult, gaining new perspectives? Revisiting Rugrats, as an adult gave me a new appreciation for the clever humor and the portrayal of childhood curiosity. How do you feel about the influence of cartoons on pop culture? From merchandise to references in other media. It's fascinating the influence of cartoons on pop culture showcases their enduring impact and the way they resonate across generations. How do you feel about the influence of cartoons on pop culture? From merchandise to references in other media. It's fascinating the influence of cartoons on pop culture showcases their enduring impact and the way they resonate across generations. Are there any cartoons that you consider timeless classics, and do you think they will continue to be enjoyed by future generations? Looney Tunes as a timeless classic with its humor and iconic characters its appeal will likely endure for generations to come. Are there any cartoons that you consider timeless classics, and do you think they will continue to be enjoyed by future generations? Looney Tunes, as a timeless classic with its humor and iconic characters its appeal will likely endure for generations to come. How do you feel about animated adaptations of comic books or graphic novels? And do you have any favorites? I enjoy them when done well. Batman the Animated Series is a standout adaptation that captures the essence of the comics. How do you feel about animated adaptations of comic books or graphic novels, and do you have any favorites? I enjoy them when done well. Batman the Animated Series is a standout adaptation that captures the essence of the comics.
how do you envision the future of cartoons? And what innovations or changes do you hope to see in the industry? I hope to see continued diversity in storytelling and characters. As well as innovations in animation technology that push the boundaries of creativity in the future of cartoons. How do you envision the future of cartoons? And what innovations or changes do you hope to see in the industry? I hope to see continued diversity in storytelling and characters. As well as innovations in animation technology that push the boundaries of creativity in the future of cartoons.